нашої господарства, корів, поросе. Мені подобається жити в своєму селі Кукшині. In the rural villages of Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, those who live closest to the land are confronting the challenges of climate change in their own backyard, the peatlands. Peatlands are a wetland ecosystem, deep layers of decayed plant matter built up over thousands of years. They are home to hundreds of rare bird species. They're also critically important to climate change because peatlands store millions of tons of carbon removed from the atmosphere. For decades, people in these regions drained the wetlands, hoping they could turn them into more productive farmlands. But instead, it had the opposite effect. High-impact agriculture and extractive industries on such sensitive soils left the peatlands dry and degraded. They caught fire, burning for years across these regions, releasing millions of tons of carbon back into the atmosphere. The impact was detrimental globally. Якби ми не взяли це под ну, якби ландшафтний парк под опіку, воно б це вже давно-давно було б перепахане і засіяне. Це вони ландшафтний парк, хоча б по камінь зберігає те, що є. А так уже значно вже. The culture and way of life in these villages goes back thousands of years. And the people here have the most grounded knowledge of how to care for the land and the ecosystem. They were able to use financing and support in impactful ways. Farmers formed dairy co-ops to better pay those grazing on the land sustainably. Здає молоко. Я теж маю дві корови. Годувати її теж дуже важко. Жирність теж доплачується індивідуально. Local towns were able to purchase equipment for restoring water channels. New political partnerships were formed to establish and expand nature reserves so that wildlife could safely return and flourish. Much of the work that helped the environment also resulted in new jobs. In some places, wetland overgrowth was mowed in order to restore endangered bird habitats. Якщо ми не будемо косити, значить воно все заросте і все пропаде. This allowed for new economic opportunities. 
like making mulch or even briquettes out of the excess plant matter that people sell for heating homes and schools. Important measurements were taken by the local scientists to assess just how much carbon is stored in these peatlands. This data not only helps them understand which are the most sensitive areas needing protection, but also helps the world better understand just what's at stake. Поэтому, в частности, вот наш заказник, когда они посещают, они что-то оттуда какими-то благами, вот как Иван пользовался там синокошение. А цель это, чтобы сохранить и восстановить этот природный комплекс. Overall, the villagers of Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia have embraced the idea that in shifting their lives and livelihoods towards a better balance with the peatlands, they are becoming climate change stewards for the greater planet. And their impact isn't insignificant. Through the Clima East project efforts, these countries kept 30 million tons of carbon in the ground the equivalent of shutting down over 140 coal plants. Most news about climate change is alarming or tragic. Success stories are rare. But this story of adaptation, this is one of them. What happens to the peatlands happens to all of us. And what has happened here we can learn from and amplify.